Once upon a time, the lovely leaders of rich countries generously gave billions of dollars to poor people living in Africa. When people are dying, we don't believe in finding excuses. We believe in trying to do something about it. The poor people in Africa receive $30 billion each year from the kind governments of rich countries, and they too became rich and happy. The aid they received meant the African people could see doctors when their children were sick, could drink clean water, and could send their children to school. The leaders of the rich countries felt really pleased about how generous they are. All those countries that keep their aid promises should be proud of what they've done. Everyone was rich and prosperous and lived happily ever after. There's another story to tell. Not one about how much we give Africa, but about how much we take. While Africa does receive under $30 billion in aid each year, $192 billion leaves the continent. Much of this goes back to rich countries. Out. $46.3 billion in multinational company profits. Out. $21 billion in debt repayments. Out. $35.3 billion in illicit financial flows. 6% of that through corporate tax evasion. Out. $6 billion through skilled workers leaving Africa. Out. $17 billion in illegal logging. Out. $1.3 billion in illegal fishing. Out. $36.6 billion as a result of climate change that Africa didn't cause. Children in Africa are 16 times more likely to die before the age of five than children in rich countries. In Sierra Leone, life expectancy for a child born today is 45. Africa has a shortage of 1.8 million skilled health workers. This is predicted to rise to 4.3 million in the next 20 years. $30 billion a year in aid to Africa. $192 billion out of Africa. Our political leaders are telling us only half the story about our financial relationship with Africa. Let's rewrite the story. Once upon a time, people in poor and rich countries got fed up of hearing how generous world leaders are to Africa. And they took action. To end tax havens. To tackle the looming debt crisis. To end the plundering of African resources by multinational companies. To tackle climate change. Make our leaders get their story straight. Take action today.